description of results or outcomes of a procedure. So this is anything that you're going to be finding the probability of. So for example, if we're talking about flipping a coin, event could be the coin landing on heads, or a different event could be the coin landing on tails, okay? So then after event, we can talk about a simple event. And a simple event is an outcome or event that cannot be broken down into any simpler components. So we can't break it down at all. So if, like the example I gave of um, flipping a coin and getting ahead, that's a simple event because it cannot be broken down into um, parts. Next, we wanna talk about sample spaces. So a complete sample space for a procedure consists of all possible outcomes of what you're talking about. So if you're talking about tossing a coin, and we normally list a sample space in brackets, so we just list out everything. So if we're tossing a coin, our two outcomes could be heads or tails. If we're rolling a die, just a normal six-sided die, our sample space would be one, two, three, four, five, or six, what could happen? So now we're gonna talk about this notation. So P of A, so we say P of A. And this is the probability that A will occur. So for example, we could say, if you know your situation is flipping a coin, we could say, what's the probability that it lands on heads? And we would know from experience that that's one half. Okay, so some things that we should know. Probabilities can range from zero to one. So we can list them as decimals, fractions, or percents. And if it's percents, that it would be from 0% to 100%. So the probability of an impossible event, something that can't happen, is 0. And the probability of an event that's certain to occur is definitely going to happen is 1. And I guess I got ahead of myself a little bit. Um, like I said, we can express the probability as a fraction, a decimal, or a percent. Now, we're going to round um, to three significant digits, unless we're told differently. And a significant digit is a digit that's um, that we're not using zeros that are just for decimal point placement. So any zeros that come before the first number do not count in those three significant digits. So if we have this first number, so 0 0.438765. So the zero, the first zero doesn't count. These are our first three numbers. So we look at the next number as a seven. So that's going to bump the 8 up to a 9. So this will round to 0. 0.439. Okay, so this next number we have 0. 0.0438765. So this 0, we don't count our significant digits. We look at these three again, that 7 would bump up the 8. So it would be 0. 0. 0.0439. And same thing here, these two zeros, oops, 
those first two zeros um, don't count as significant digits. This would be 0 0.00439. So going on to the next page, we're going to talk about some more definitions. So we can talk about an event or the complement of an event. And the complement of event A consists on, of all outcomes where A does not happen. So A and its complement will make up the whole sample space. It'll make up everything. Either A can be in it or it's not A. And the notation is A with a line over top of it. So sometimes we call that A bar, because there's a bar over it. And it just means everything that's not A, everything that's not, um, doesn't have event A occurring. So we would write that out, if we wanna find the probability of it, the probability that of the complement of A of A not happening, we do one minus the probability that d A does occur because it's a whole sample space. All of the probabilities will have to add up to one or 100%. And so if these two things have to make up the whole sample space, either A happens or A doesn't happen, then this is the way that we can find the complement. So here's one way to think of it. Let's say that you knew event A was it raining tomorrow. And let's say you just happen to know that P of A was 0.2, or that would be the same as saying 20% chance of rain. Now, A bar would mean no rain tomorrow. Right, a nice sunny day. So if you know the probability of rain is 20%, the probability of it not raining would be 1 minus 0.2, which would be 0.8, or 80%. Okay, so we're going to talk about listing out some sample spaces. So let's say your procedure, your trial, is flipping two coins. So you're going to flip one coin, and then you're going to flip the next one. So our sample space are going to be everything that can happen. So we could get a head and then a tail, or we could get a tail and then a head, or we could get two heads in a row, or two tails in a row. And those are the four possibilities of what could happen. So if event A is getting two heads in a row, then the probability of A, we take how many times A could happen, that just once, over how many possible outcomes there are, which in this case, four. So this one came because there was just one head and then head. And then the four is the total, pot, total number of possible outcomes. So not A, so meaning not head heads would be everything else, which we can just count. There would be three out of four. Now the other way we could see that is it would be one minus one fourth, which is three fourths. Okay, so we'll see complements um, later on throughout this chapter.